Hey guys. Welcome. Come on in. We're going to talk a little bit today about using stock photos or real photos um, in therapy. So go ahead and share this out with your friends. You can tap the little guy at the bottom um, and share it out via Twitter or via your Periscope followers. So wait and see if a few more people might come on in. Then I'll turn the camera around. Well, okay, well, it might just be a short group today. So let's see. Hey, how are y'all? Have y'all started school back yet? I have started school. <laughs> yeah, I see some lot, so I guess that means you have. I started school on Thursday, and then um, today, the first, um, oh, kids start Wednesday for you. Kids started today for us. Um, July 21st, wow, did you get out like in April? <laughs> That's a very short break, if not. Um, yeah, we started back um, today, kids came, so I'm trying to get my lesson plans ready for therapy and everything, my schedule together and all that. It's been nuts. Next week, ah, gotcha. All right, so I guess we're going to get started. We are year oh, year round. Mm. How is that? Do you like being year round? Because I've always I've had mixed feelings about if I would like to be year round or not. You love it? Oh, that's good. That's good to hear. I've heard that people who do it love it. So I'd always, I've always kind of wanted to try it. Anyway, okay, so today you get longer for Christmas. <laughs> awesome. That's plus for sure. Um, we're going to talk about using stock photos in speech. Um, when I say stock photos, I just mean a real photo. Um, for example, I like using these story starter photo cards from Super Duper. You can get these from the Super Duper website, or you can, uh, and they also have other products that have um, real photos on them. These are just the story starter cards. I like this deck specifically. Um, and they just have like a photo of random things. Um, that are really good for starting stories or for doing actually any goal. Um, you can also get stock photos online. You can get stock photos for free from like Pixabay or Unsplash or any of those other um, websites. You could probably Google free stock photos and find some. You can also get paid stock photos from like iStock.com. Um, or bigstockphoto.com, different ones like that. And if you um, really find one that you like and you don't want to pay for it, you could always just um, pull it up on your iPad and let them let the kids look at it. You um, probably will have a watermark across it, but, I mean, still good. They can still see it. Anyway, this is kind of how I use them. What were the free again? Oh, you could go to pixabay.com. Um, P-I-X-A, I think, B-A-Y dot com or Unsplash, U-N-S-P-L-A-C-H. I actually did a blog post about this um, today and I have some links on my blog post and I'll, um, I'll reference that in just a second. Um, so you can go to those websites and you can, all you have to do is just pull them up on your iPad and then, or on your laptop and then just turn it around and show the kids, you're welcome, um, and show the kids the photo and then they can do all kinds of things with it. Um, some of the things that I like to target are um, WH questions, narratives, articulation, um, fluency, inferencing, grammar, all kinds of things with, um, with these photos. Um, and I'm going to give you a little bit of an example. So if I had like this photo, I could easily target WH questions by asking um, who or what questions about the picture. I could say, well, who are the people in the picture? Who is in the picture? Who hurt her leg? Who is helping the Who's helping the girl? Um, I could say, where did this happen? Um, what are they doing in the picture? Why is the little girl holding her leg? Um, all those WH questions. I could even have the kids ask questions back to me. Oh, can you take your dry erase boards and write me a who question about this picture? Or write, write me a where question about this picture? Um, any of those things would work with their WH questions. You could use the same picture for narratives. Um, tell me the story elements in this picture. Who would the characters be? Um, what would the setting be in this picture? Maybe they were at the park. 
Um, what would be the problem or the kickoff event? Oh, the little girl hit a bump in the road. How did she feel about that? Um, what were the events that could have happened next? Um, you could target so many things with just one picture. Um, grammar, right? Mia can gram grammatically correct sentence about this picture. Um, the girl, the girl is riding her bike. Tell me it in the past tense. Write it in the past tense. You can get her, get them to say the girl rode her bike. Um, all different kinds of things. Seriously, so you can do that with any of these pictures. Would really work. Um, you could even pull up one um, that has to do with the theme that you're doing that week in therapy. Let's say you're doing. Um, Christmas theme or you're doing fall theme, you can find a fall picture, you can find a Christmas picture, you can find St. Patrick's pictures, they're all kind on the internet. Um, these don't really have a lot of holiday pictures or um, specific themes, but if you, you look on the internet, you could easily find them. Um, and also, I made a little companion pack to go with stock photos, and it comes with a cheat sheet like this for SLPs. I'm going to get a little closer, and it has all kinds of ideas of how you can target, what you can target, and how you can target them in therapy. I'm really sorry that it's backwards. I'll, um, <laughs> I'll turn it around in just a second. And it also comes with little tiny worksheets for the kids to do, like if they're doing articulation, find and say five words in the picture with your sound in them. Um, make a sentence with each of the words and then describe the picture using your best speech. These things are great for carryover. Carryover for fluency. Oh, it's not backwards. Okay, good. <laughs> carryover for fluency um, or carryover for articulation is really good. Make up a story about this picture using your best speech and then you could get some really good data. Um, so I'm going to turn the phone around and I'm going to give you the links to my blog post and to my freebie. So one second. Can you see that? They're both Bitly links, um, and don't forget that the capital letters um, do matter. So be sure and note that. Um, the first one is um, bit.ly backslash BBS stock photos. The other one is bit.ly backslash um, photo companion. So you can definitely check those out, and I will show you the companion back. And it comes with... You're welcome. This cheat sheet, and it has making inferences, social skills, fluency, comparing and contrasting, and all of that. And it also has the little, um, the little worksheet, mini worksheets with the different targets. So, anyway, I hope this helps you guys. Have any of y'all ever tried that using photos and speech? I just love it because it's great for warm-up activities. Um, at the beginning of speech, I can just pull out one picture and say, okay, everybody, here's a little worksheet. Do it while I'm getting my um, data, data binder ready. Or um, find words and write them down. <laughs> yes, for sure. Anyway, any questions? I, um, I really like this super duper deck that they also have. Thanks, Jesser, 822. Um, the Super Duper also has other fun decks with um, real photos. I know they have one that addresses pronouns and different things, but you could still use the pictures for whatever you need to. Um, anyway, all right, well, that's it. So I guess I'll see y'all next month for SLP Blogger Live. Don't forget, you can follow me at busybeespeech.com um, online, or you can follow me at, um, on Instagram at busybeespeech. You're welcome. Have y'all have a good one.